Hello, Form C. This is a short video to show you how to make the bar graph for your types of soda and Mentos lab report. So you can first see that I'm here typing up my lab report. I have my name, I have my homeroom teacher, I have my title. I haven't done my summary yet. Again, the summary is a paragraph describing what we did in the lab. Then here I have my data table all filled out. Um, again, this is pretend data. This is not actual data. Please do not copy this data for your own. We will take the measurements actually in class. This is pretend data for just video purpose only. And then I've got my conclusions and I haven't answered the first two. The third conclusion question asks me to make a bar graph. And so that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. So the first thing that you wanna do is you want to copy your whole data table. So I've got it all copied and then I can hit Command C or Command V, uh, or I'm sorry, Command C or Control C on my keyboard to copy my data table. And now I need to go into what's called Google Sheets to create a uh, graph. And so I'm gonna go up to my drive here and there's nine little dots up in the right-hand corner. I'm gonna click on those nine dots and I'm gonna find Sheets. So I'm gonna click on Google Sheets. And there is blank, so I'm gonna create a new Google Sheet. And then I can hit Command V or Command or Control V, and that will then paste my data table right into my Google Sheets. Now, I need to make a bar graph for this, so I'm gonna highlight everything in my data table. And then over here on the right, there's a little thing that looks kinda like a bar graph, um, it's called Insert Chart, and so I'm gonna click on that. And what's nice is, is that it automatically creates a graph for me, which is really kind of nice, but I need to make some modifications to it because it's graphing things that I don't want it to. Um, it's including the graph of trial one, trial two, and trial three, and really I just want to see the average. So over here, it says series, and then underneath it are all the trials. And so I'm just going to click on trial one, and I'm going to remove it, and I'm going to click on trial two and remove it, and I'm going to click on trial three and remove it leaving just the average, which is what I wanted uh, to be able to see. So I've got my six sodas and their averages already graphed. Now I'm not done yet. Um, I do need to fix my title um, as well as my title here on the vertical axis. Uh, and so what I need to do is I need to go over here to where it says customize. If I click on customize and click on chart, then here it says chart title. And so I'm gonna delete all of that. And I'm gonna say this is types, sorry, distance of spray, that is measured in, oops, distance of spray versus types of soda. And you can see as I type it there, distance of spray versus types of soda appears up there. Now I do need to have a title here on the vertical or the vertical axis so I can change chart title and click on it and I can go to vertical axis title. So I'm gonna do that. And this would then be distance of spray. And I'm going to then measure that in meters so people know what units I measured in. All right, so I've got my title distance of spray versus types of soda. And I've got distance of spray in meters measured there. Now, one last thing that um, I need to do is I'm gonna go up to grid lines and ticks. And grid lines and ticks, what I, I'm changing the vertical axis, because right now it's only counting by twos. It's like two meters, four meters, six meters, eight meters, 10 meters. And instead, I'm gonna have it count by ones. So I'm gonna put a one there. So now it's just counting by ones, which is really nice. It gives me a little more accuracy for when I'm trying to read my chart. And then there's what's called minor spacing type. And that I'm also gonna make a one. And that then gives me a halves in between each of them. So I have like 0.51, 1.52, 2.5, et cetera. I'm going all the way up. The last thing that I'm gonna do, and it's more aesthetics than anything else, is then here at the bottom, okay, I just kind of scroll down. There's what's called major ticks. And then there's also what is called minor ticks. And I'm gonna click both of those. And that just gives me those little nice indications next to my numbers of what I um, have recorded, all right? So now I've got my data table. It's all set to go, looks really nice. Uh, but I need to put this in my, my lab report. So there's these three little dots up here in the top right-hand corner. I click on those dots and I hit copy chart. And then I go over to types, I go back to my lab report here 
and it was question number three. It was making a bar chart. And so I'm going to then just hit control V or command V and I'm going to link it to my spreadsheet. And then I hit paste and then it puts my graph right into my lab report, ready to go. All right. I will need to go and answer conclusion questions one and two as well as four and five, but that's the way to do question number three, creating a bar chart uh, using Google Sheets. Thank you very much. Goodbye.